Hi everybody, I'm Sonia. Um, so this um, workout is going to be a low intensity workout that just encourages you to move, just move. Okay, so all you'll need is a chair, maybe a broom handle or a walking aid. All right, of course, comfortable, comfortable, supportive sneakers and some water, always need water. All right, so here's my chair, here's my broomstick and I'm gonna put my broomstick down for now. Feel free to get water whenever you want, okay? So again, this is just a video to, to encourage you to just move your joints, get some rotational exercises in, um, hopefully get some blood pumping, okay? So you're gonna start on the edge of your chair. So I'll show you from the side. You're just gonna come scooch to the very edge of your chair, okay? I'm gonna face you. <clears throat> So let's start with our sitting stance. You're gonna roll your shoulders back, right? Roll them, oh, that feels good, good. Now from here, maybe if you wanna lift an elbow, again, just rotating. You don't even have to do that, you can just stay right here, all right? Now once you hit that back, side, I want you to push your shoulders down, tighten up your belly, take a deep breath in, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Oh, that feels good. Inhale, exhale. Good. Okay. So we are going to start with a stretch. So all you're going to do is take your hands, place them at the top of your knees, and you're gonna tip forward at your waist slowly. Keep breathing. And as you come forward, you're going to feel a stretch in your back. So just come as far as you can, okay? And then I want you to come into a round back. So we're gonna do that again. So, and this time I want you to inhale as you come down. And then as you come up and round your back, exhale. Inhale, exhale, good, inhale, and exhale, good, come all the way up, nice and easy, bring your feet a little bit closer together, I want you to extend one leg, it doesn't matter which one, just pick one, we're going to do both, alright, just extend one leg, and again, tip forward at your waist, just come as far as you can. You should feel a nice stretch on the back of your front, the leg that it, that it extended. Ah. Not only do I feel an awesome stretch in the back of my leg, but I feel it in my lower back. Keep, keep your chest nice and proud and your shoulders rolled away from your head. Okay, and let's switch sides. Why do we always say roll your shoulders down and back? Why do we say that? Push your shoulders away from your head. Ah, get that nice stretch in there. Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> That's where you hold a lot of tension. Most people hold tension right in here, right? And you get all like scrunched up. So we always want to try to push your shoulders down and release that tension right in there. Okay, so you should have felt a nice stretch right in your lower back, your shoulders, your, the back of your legs. So now we are going to do a little quadricep exercise. Okay, so you're still at the edge of your seat and check your posture. All right, are you upright? Are your shoulders down and roll back? All right, you can just put your hands right here down next to you. You're gonna take one leg, keep it bent nice and relaxed you're just gonna lift a leg, okay? Lift, now you lift it as high as you can, okay? And when you set it down, try not to just drop it, all right? You wanna gently control it on the way down. Now, if you want a progression for this and you absolutely do not have to progress this, all you're gonna do is extend your leg, okay? And you're gonna lift and lower. Yes, lift and lower, awesome. All right, or you can just keep it bent. 
lift. Now, your quadriceps, this top part of your front leg, the front of your leg, should feel pretty warm. All right, and when you're ready to take a break, just go for it. All right, let's shake it out a little bit. Let's do the other side. Again, always maintaining your upright position, right? Your belly is nice and tight. Why do we always say that? Squeeze your belly. Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> because with that tight core, that protects your very, 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 you wanna extend your leg, important spine, right? It protects your spine by having a nice, strong center. Good. A couple more. Come on, come on, come on. Up. Oh, my leg is starting to shake. Okay, good. All right, good job. Okay, what are we gonna do next? Let's, ooh, let's do this. Oh, this is a beaut, this is one of my favorite stretches. Okay, so you're gonna sit back, scooch back to the back of your chair, right? Your back, your butt might almost touch the back of the chair. Take an arm, cross it over, reach and grab the back of your chair. All right, now the other hand, just, just relax. You're gonna look behind you. And as you look behind you, try to pull yourself toward the chair and turn your head as far as you can. And it might not be very far, just do it as far as you're able to. And if you want, you can grab the chair from behind and use that as a little bit of leverage as well. And when you're ready, nice and easy, no jerky moves, let's stay nice and fluid. Take your other arm across. Good. Oh, that's good. Let's take our neck, do a couple circles here, roll your shoulders back. Now, I'm gonna do that stretch again. Because I always like to say the first time around is practice, right? Your body just is practicing the movement. The second time is when it counts, okay? Because your body is like, oh yeah, I get this. All right, let's do it even better this time. So again, cross over, grab your chair. And this time I want you to try to turn even more. Look, turn your head and look behind you or maybe even to that opposite corner if you can. All right, take your time and do this stretch. Maybe if you have some nice, peaceful music, you can play along with this video, that would be great. Okay, and when you're ready, you can switch sides. Wow, oh, excellent. Okay, what's next now? You should feel, right now, you should feel pretty mobilized, right? We, 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 we have actually stretched out quite a bit of our major muscle group. So um, now I want you to, if you need to, or if you want to, you can pick up your walking aid or your broomstick, all right? Because what we're gonna do, we're gonna come to the very edge of your seat one more time. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from seated to standing, okay? So it's gonna look like this. If you have your, your walking aid or your, or your broomstick or whatever it is you have, or maybe you don't have anything, all right? You're gonna come from seated and you're just gonna stand up. Okay, let's do it again. And again, try to stay controlled in your movement. And what I mean by that is when you come up, I'm sorry, when you come down, try not to just plop down, all right? So try to stay, maintain a nice um, control on your way down. So here we go. Come up, stay with me, squeeze your butt, kind of tuck your hips a little bit, and then sit back down. Now progression to this, you could try to do it without this, okay? I'll show you that. I'm just gonna come up, squeeze your hips forward, and then sit back down. Okay, nice and easy, nice and slow. A progression to this, you could stay on two feet or I'm gonna grab my broomstick. You can try to do this on one foot. Again, this is a lot tougher than on two feet, all right? 
So, but if you want to give it a try, maybe once. So one foot, no weight, and you're just going to come up onto one foot, squeeze your butt, come back down. Up and down. All right, now if you're doing this progression, again, you don't have to. You want to switch legs. Let's do a few on the other side. Here we go. Now those are tough. So like I said, two feet are a wonderful option, okay? So this time, let's stay standing, okay? Hold on just a second. Pause it. All right, I'm back. Okay, so let's stay standing. Now, grab your walking aid, or your, your broomstick, place it in one hand, and place it in the same side of your body. Now from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take a step forward, just like you're walking, just like you're about to walk, I should say. But as you do this, take a walking stance and push your hips forward, okay? So you should feel your hips stretch, okay? And with your other hand, you can sort of spiral it behind you, okay? Just like that, yes. Now, you can stay right here from the side, looks like this. You're gonna step forward, push your hips forward, push, okay. You can stay right there. Now, if you want a progression, you're going to reach up, push the broomstick, in the opposite direction that your arm is going. And don't forget to push those hips forward and open up. Yes? Again, you can stay right here, just walking forward, okay? Stepping forward. The next progression would be to reach up and open up your chest. And then, if you want a little bit more, you can lift and rotate, look behind you. So watch, oh my gosh. The rotational mobility here is so nice. Ah, oh, it's so powerful. So as I'm reaching behind me, I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together and I feel this in my hips, ah, oh, my back. This is a wonderful stretch, guys. All right, let's switch sides. Coming over here. Oh, well, you're just gonna switch. Remember, whatever um, arm side that your stick is in, that's the foot that steps, okay? So you're gonna step forward, and all you're gonna do is push your hips forward, like that, okay? And spiral the other hand behind you. Okay, now remember the progression is arm comes up and then you push your stick the opposite direction. Okay, keep going guys. Just gotta keep adjusting this, sorry. Keep going. All right, keep going. So, Now remember the progression from here. You're gonna look behind you toward this hand, okay? So you step forward and look behind you. And immediately when you look behind you and you rotate, you should feel a really awesome stretch. So push the broomstick out and then look behind you. Oh, so good. Now try to get your breaths paced with your moves, right? Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, good. Okay, so now I want you to reset your body, roll your shoulders back. Now you feel 
you should feel real, like really good. Like you're ready to, ready to move, yes? So from here, you can either keep, well, let me think, let me think. Yeah, let's keep your stick. Keep your stick, and all we're gonna do, guys, is do a little high knee action, okay? So you're gonna lift, alternating legs, and when you drop your foot, once again, control. See, I'm gonna try to be as quiet as possible. <laughs> okay, good. Now take one leg and just hold it. Hold it. Hold it up. And again, if you want a progression, which you don't have to do, but if you want to, you can extend your leg. Ooh, otherwise you're right here and you're a lift, 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 lift. Now, if that's hard to do, you can just do it. You can just keep it low right here, okay? And then let's do the other side. Lift your leg, use your broomstick for balance, okay? Now, if you want, again, you can extend your leg, but you don't have to. You can be down here. Just pick whatever works for you. Okay, good. Now, I want you to try this. I want you to put your stick down. Okay. Hold on to your chair. I want you to pick up one foot. Good. Now, if you can, and if you feel stable, I want you to let go. And I want you to try to balance on one foot. Now, if you need to put your foot down to catch yourself, that's fine. If you're wobbling, that's okay. That's okay, that's your body just trying to adapt, trying to adjust to what you're putting it through. Okay, if you need to hang on, good. All right, let's try the other side. So, pick up your toes. When you're ready, let go. Now, if you are advanced and if this does feel easy for you, you can do something like this. You can bring it behind you. You can come down and up, down and up. But if that's too much, or maybe you wanna hold on to the chair, do it with the chair. Otherwise, you're right here. Good, put it down. Good, 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 good. Let's see, what else do we have? I'm like, man, it's honeys. Oh, let's do this, okay. So option to, to hang on to your chair or to grab your broomstick, up to you, okay? Or you can do it freestanding with nothing. It's totally up to you. We're just gonna do heel raises. It's gonna balance, challenge your balance a little bit, okay? Mainly, what I love about this exercise is it, um, it promotes ankle wellness, okay? So it's really gonna stretch your ankles and work your calves, but we work our calves usually every day anyway. So let's hang on to the chair, put your feet close together and lift your heels. And then come back down. Now check your, check your um, alignment. Are your shoulders rolled back and down? Is your belly tight? Lift your heels and come back down. Now when you lift, really try to go as high as you can and you'll feel an awesome stretch on your ankles. Awesome, up and down. If you want to try a challenge, oh, balance, oh, that was hard. Try to let go of the chair. You don't have to, maybe just try one time. Catch yourself if you need to and come down. Cool, cool, whoa. High as you can, good. All right. Now, take one of your ankles and just sort of circle it. Ah. I think lots of people might take their ankles for granted, but oh boy, they are. If you've ever been with a sprained ankle, you realize how important ankles are. Ah, ah I do, that's for sure. So let's roll your ankles. Good, and that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you feel like you got your blood pumping a little bit and stretched out some major muscle groups. Um, thanks for joining me. All right, enjoy your day. I'll see you later, bye.